What's up, amazing people? It's your boy R Double G back, man. I'm here with my pretty much my first 2022 video. And as you guys can tell from the title, I'm kind of doing an unboxing. If this is your first time on the channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button, man, and the thumbs up, you know, turn that bell on so you get the notifications. I do have a pretty dope 2A live feed that I do a few days out the week. If you turn on notifications, you come join the live. You can live, laugh, and learn with us, man. It's a great community, all right? If you're returning, I want you to know I appreciate you more than you ever know. All right, with no further ado, let's get into it. So as you, as you know from the title, I have a new Ruger. This is sort of an unboxing because I haven't had a chance to take this particular firearm to the range yet. So this is basically just my unboxing of my Ruger 22 Charger. All right. I got this big bulky box on the, on the desk with me. It's taking up a lot of space. And I've pretty much taken everything out. I just wanted you guys to know that this is the box that it comes in. All right. But won't be needing that. All right, oof, boy, I feel loose now. Now I can buck, put them in the buck, something. Anyway, don't worry about all of that. I'm going to talk to you guys about what comes in the box, man, and then I'll tell you what made me buy a 22 and the plans that I have for this particular firearm. So, first of all, come with a trigger lock. Like most firearms do, your trigger lock, your manual. All right, this is Maruga manual. I think it's got some couple stickers in there and some some other stuff i gotta learn to read these things because you know i don't i don't read very well i, I got the out but i'll figure all that out as time goes on um and it comes with basically you know in that box i showed you and then one magazine comes with one 15 rounder uh the bx 15 ruger mag all right so if you're not familiar with the ruger 22 charger it's kind of like a, um, I, I, I look at it like a hybrid between the Ruger PC charger and then the 1022. Okay, so like, you know how cool the Ruger PC charger is, the 9mm version, and then the 1022 is one of the most popular 22 uh, caliber firearms ever, ever made. Um, probably the most popular. At the end of the day, um, this is basically a, a pistol version of a 1022. That's another way to describe it. No further ado, show you guys the fire. There she go. Or he go. Haven't named it yet. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Well, it's probably a girl right now. As you can tell, it's empty. All now it's a boy. Maybe a little boy. Anyway, none of that matters. Um, these are really, really dope firearms, man. Um, I haven't had a chance to shoot it, but I'm very familiar with the platform, the 1022, because this is not the first 1022 that I own. If you take a look over my shoulder here, I'm going to try to point at it the best that I can. Um, and you see that off-white PS90 looking gun is also a 1022 inside of a high tower armory uh ps90 stock basically you know so and that's one of the dopest things about 1022s is how versatile they are and these are no different um if you if you look at kind of the chassis where the barrel sits you know you can actually buy different chassis for this thing like magpul makes furniture for it and I'm sure a couple other companies out there make furniture for it as well. So you can pretty much make these look any type of way you want. So back to what I was talking about earlier when I when I was talking about what made me purchase a 22. You know, as one of my first purchases for 2022. <laughs> Ironic, right? Um, one, ammo, ammo is crazy. You know, after the pandemic, ammo prices went a little stupid on us. Um, but 22 is still relatively affordable to shoot. Not only is the 22 caliber more affordable to shoot, this particular firearm and most 22s in general aren't very expensive firearms. I mean, this gun is could be sub $300. You no, know, right in that $300-ish price range, you can get you one of these babies. Um, 
I, I have several different magazines for it. You know, I got some 25 rounders. Um, I am going to, I may get the drum, you know. I got some, some, some coupled 10 rounders, coupled, coupled. So it makes them 20 rounders. Um, I got more around here somewhere. But not only that, when I purchased this firearm, you know, I, it does not come with a optic on it. No, I'm not an optic, but it doesn't come with any iron sights, anything. So no type of sight. So you got to put something on it. Got to put your red dot on it. So I went with the Vortex Venom, as you can see. And I wanted to make this the ultimate fun gun. But I also wanted to keep it compact and light. I'm waiting on my um, SB Tactical 1913 folding brace for this thing. Uh, so th it's going to be dope when I'm done with it. And what's going to make it the ultimate fun gun is this guy. This Franklin Armory binary trigger, man. Um, you can look around YouTube, you know. And I talk to a few of my buddies and as well as watch YouTube and the Franklin Armory binaries just run amazing in these things, man. They, they make them so, so fun to shoot. And I also plan to do a Cerakote job on this, but I won't talk about what the Cerakote is going to be. But hopefully the next time you see you guys see this particular firearm, it'll look very different. And I'll have footage of me shooting it. Um, let's go over some of the features on the gun real quick. And I, I like to put the magazine in it. You know, Ugh. get your, I can't, there we go. I like to put the magazine and just look a lot better. Um, so, the, so the dope, let's start from the back. It's got this pick rail adapter thing, you know what I'm saying? So so allows you to easily install a brace on it. And it is much better to shoot these with a brace. Um, so like I said, I'm waiting on the SB Tactical folding brace. It comes with your standard uh, AR style grip, so pretty much any grip that you could put on the AR-15, you could put on these things. I may try to go with some type of skeletonized grip or something like that for this, but you know the grip is very interchange, uh, uh, very versatile. Uh, it's got like the paddle release, so the AK style paddle release if that's what you're used to, or if that's what you're into. I like that a lot. Um, it does have the pick rail up top, obviously, that comes factory installed. Um, and it's got a threaded barrel, okay? So I think it's half by 28. So for those of you who, who want to shoot with suppression, you can do that. I'm in Illinois, so we can't have suppressors, but I may just put me a fake suppressor on there just to make myself feel better. Uh, I mean, for the most part, that's it. You got your... Your crossbow, crossbow safety, I don't know what you call it exactly, but that's the safety there. And the triggers on these things are pretty cool, man. It's like really quick resets. You can see how close the trigger is to the brake. There's not a lot of, you know, room there. Like, I mean, I'm talking about triggers are pretty dope in these things. And I'm not a super duper trigger guy. I'm not a technical guy at all when it comes to the firearm stuff. I mean, you know, I know what I know. Um, and I do know that the trigger in these things are not bad and that's it's probably a part of what makes the binaries so dope or work so dope in here because how quick you know you can pull it man it'd be sounding you know good Brr, good you know so i'm looking forward to that uh like i said price on these things right around 300 300 300 right around three um which makes it a very affordable option if you're in the market for a 22. Uh, I, I always talk about ammo. Ammo's, I love shooting 22. I mean, outdoors, indoors, the ultimate plinking machine. I want to make this the ultimate plinking rifle. Not rifle, I'm sorry. Ultimate plinking pistol. Because this is a pistol. So, for the most part, that's it, man. Um, for you guys that own this already, tell me what you think about it. Um, or what you've done to it. Let me know. If you maybe send me some photos to my email, a regular gun guy, gmail.com. And I'll, because every other Tuesday we do live um, firearm, you know, reviews where people send in photos of the firearms and we rate them. So you can send me some photos of your, of your uh, Ruger 22 charges if you own one. And tell me what you think about it in terms of reliability and, you know, what you've done to it, upgrades and such, so on and so forth. 
outside of that, that's it, guys, for this particular video. Um, I hope you guys check back in with me. Make sure you hit that bell, turn on the notifications. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Again, I'm R Double G. I'm out of here until the next video. Deuces.